and of the Holy Spirit. In today's Gospel, we heard about Jesus telling his disciples that his mission was not to abolish the law and call it into question, but to fulfill it and to bring it to perfection. What does this mean? It means that perfection is found in a true relationship of trust and love with Jesus. Just like the disciples, Jesus is asking us to live our lives doing the right thing. Not because the law tells us to, but because we, as followers of Jesus, should reflect his teachings in our lifestyle. To better understand what Jesus is asking us to do, we have to make the connection of the chronological order of the Sermon on the Mountain that began with the Beatitudes. Then called us to be light and salt of the earth. And today invites us not only to live by the law, but more importantly, to live our lives as a faithful Christians imitating his life. Just like he challenged his disciples to live by a higher standard that the scribes and Pharisees, he is challenging each one of us to do the same. As we sit here today, participating in the Eucharist, we should ask ourselves if we are in fact living and taking to heart the life of Jesus. Are we forgiven or are we full of anger against our brother and sister? We are spreading peace or hate? Are we grateful with our material possessions or are we the festival that we are always searching for more? Are we true light and salt of the earth with those around us? I know last week Father Dolan asked us to be salty in his homily. Let us just be clear about this because as you know, English is my second language. And one of my friends Sons ask me, Father, should we be salty? That means being angry. In the context of the last weekend's gospel, Father Dolan was asking us to be savory, flavorful to those around us. We love kindness, mercy, laughter, compassion. This is truly living in fulfilling Jesus' challenge, not because we have to, but because these behaviors are part of our being as true sons and daughters of God. My dear brothers and sisters, it is now ritual of serpents and mechanical obedience which brings the law to perfection within us. But when there is as a change in our attitude, that's when our hearts are transformed. So let us pray to the Lord to send us His Holy Spirit upon us, that our actions, words, attitudes, and thoughts will become like His own. Amen. Amen.